does the idea of bullet journaling appeal to you? But then when you sit down to create one of your own, you're like, oh, I can't draw. Well, stick around because I'm going to show you some really simple spreads that anyone can put together. And the other thing I'm going to take you through is what are some of the psychological benefits to doing this task in the first place? Is it a good idea to sit and spend several hours putting together one of these things? So if you're interested in this topic, then please stick around. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I'm going to take you through my bullet journal. I finished making it today. As you can see, it's right here. I bought this one from Kmart, $4. I'm so happy, I love it. <laughs> Lots of blank pages. What I'll do is I'll take you through the really simple spreads that I've made. I'm just going to make sure I'm in focus. Um, yeah, I'm going to take you through the really simple spreads that I've made so that you can see how my bullet journal is put together. And then I'll just talk you through why it's a good idea to bullet journal. Okay, what is the point of going to all the effort, right? When you could just buy a pre-made diary, it's true. Or you could use the calendar on your phone or you could use a calendar on your laptop, right? These are all very good options. But why would someone go to all the effort of sitting for several hours making these bullet journals? So I'm going to take you through the psychological benefits of doing so. But why don't we start by having a look at some of these simple spreads. So, and before I do that, I will say that on the internet, and I'll show you some grabs of some beautiful spreads that people put together. They put together these magnificent spreads. You know, they, they do all these drawings and they do calligraphy and, and people are so creative and so artistic. And I've been so inspired by all those videos, but then when I sit down to make a bullet journal, I don't have that gift of being able to draw. I just can't draw with pen and paper. If you give me a Wacom graphics tablet, like the one that I have right here, an Adobe Illustrator, well then I can draw. Then I can draw just about anything. But if you give me pen and paper, I can't draw. And I watch all those beautiful bullet journal spreads and I then sit down and I think, oh, well, I can't do that. I'll show you what I've done. And because I actually searched on YouTube simple bullet journal spreads and I couldn't find too many. So that's why I'm making this video because I was searching for this content myself. Um, so I'll show you my simple spread. So if we have a look at November 2020, I've got that open at the moment. So you have a look there. I've drawn out the calendar there. I've got on the next page week one, week two, week three, week four. So I really like that simple spread. I've got my to-do list section. So I can mark in the box here uh, on the side when I've done whatever it is that I wanted to do. And then I've got a blank page just for whatever else. Um, and I've made this bullet journal all the way up to, I'll show you, uh, December 2021. So I've done it from September of this year to December 2021. And I've got half of the entire diary left for, you know, YouTube ideas, um, whatever else it is that I want to uh, you know, I've, I've always got stuff to fill pages. So that's, I've always got things to, 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 you know, write down. So that's really, really useful. And I know I'm going to love this because I was doing this bullet journal thing for at least the last year or so, maybe the last year and a half, I was doing it on loose leaf A5 sheets. And I'll show you uh, some examples of that. I actually chucked out the last month that I had. I keep chucking them out because, you know, I did it on loose leaves, but I really love this whole bullet journal thing. And I thought, you know what, now I'm going to sit down, I'm going to make, make a proper one. And I loved doing it. It took me quite a few hours to put this together, but there are psychological benefits of doing this activity. So let's go through what those are. And 
Yeah, why go to all this effort, right? Why do it? Why bother? And I, look, this is a fantastic thing to do, okay? It, it is also the kind of activity, it's a bit of a procrastination activity, right? You're like, okay, I'm gonna start my YouTube channel, but before that, I have to create a, a bullet journal, right? It is that kind of thing. You know when you're gonna sit down and you're gonna, I don't know, you're gonna do your accounts, especially when you're gonna do something boring, right? You have to do your accounts or whatever, and it's like, oh, I have to clean my room. And it's like, oh, I have to clean the whole house. Oh, I have to clean this. This is a bit one of those activities, but here's some justification for why it's a good thing to do. So number one is you feel like you're taking charge of your time. When you feel like you're taking charge of your time, you do get the feeling you're taking charge of your life, okay? And that's a very good feeling to have. So that's number one. The second thing is that you're taking your power back. What do I mean by this? So you're taking your power back from what society dictates. Now, if you looked at my spreads, you'll notice that I've got quite a traditional setup here. I've got the whole, everything starts on Monday and you know weekends, I don't have much time there um, and things like that. But in your bullet journal, you might decide that your weekends, you're gonna devote two pages to, or you're gonna structure in a different way, or maybe you start your week on a Tuesday or maybe your bullet journal is for your moonlighting business and you structure it so that it's, you know, six to eight p.m. kind of every day, like it's just for that purpose or um, whatever it is, right? You're taking your power back from the dictates of society because society has set up calendars. Society has told us that, you know, we go to work on Monday, right? And I, me, I do, have more energy on a Monday. That is how I'm conditioned. That's how it's working for me. So that's why I've structured my bullet journal in the way I have. But like equally, you might want to structure it with, with you know different times of day and things like that. So I know that, for example, writers always have this thing. Christopher Hitchens, he would write until 3 a.m. every day. And then there's Wayne Dyer, who would get up at 3 a.m. just to write. And then there's Roald Dahl, who would write from the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Like all this is so fascinating. And the reason that I'm so interested in all of this is because I'm an astrologer and all I do all day, every day, is I look at time, right? That's all that I do. So naturally this whole bullet journal phenomenon, which is huge on the internet, I mean, that appeals to me enormously. Um, one of the things I am gonna do in my bullet journal is I'm going to put all the dates of the new moons and the full moons, and I'm gonna share that in the description below so that you can, you have all of that at your fingertips. I will also share the dates of, I'm pretty sure it's called, I hope I say this right, Akshaya Trithya. Uh, I probably haven't said that right, but it's the days when the sun and the moon are exalted. And uh, those are important dates to mark down because um, those are great days to start your business or to start a new venture or to start your blog or to start writing a book or get married or whatever it is, right? So. That is a good idea to mark down all the astrological dates in advance. We can do that. Um, now, the other thing, the other reason why you would go to the effort of making a bullet journal is because I believe it's a good Saturn remedy. I believe this is something that will make Saturn very happy. Because Saturn is the Lord of Time and you are developing a strong relationship with Saturn by putting your ink to paper. And it, believe me, it takes ages to make one of these. I spent many hours, um, I, I think it was like three mornings and, and one long evening putting this together. Like, you know, and I, I put on my favorite lectures on YouTube and it was a good way to consume lots of uh, content while doing this. So I really enjoyed putting it together. But, you know, this is a great, Saturn Remedy, it's a great way to strengthen your relationship with time, great way to get organized, great way to get grounded, get practical, um, and then you've got to use it, you know, and I'm definitely going to use mine. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, discussing the joys of bullet journaling. I know it's a really popular thing on the internet. Um, if you're new to me, I am an astrologer. Welcome, welcome to the channel, because some people might come into this video for bullet journaling and they might not realize that I'm uh, actually an astrologer. So uh, yes, you know, this is, this is what I do. I, I deal with time and um, 
If you enjoyed this, please do like, please do subscribe and uh, feel free to comment below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.